Hi, I'm going to teach you how to label conjugate acid and conjugate bases. We're going to label every species and all these chemical equations. Um, here's what I want you to think of. Um, you'll see sometimes uh, this little game where people will take walnut shells and they'll put one pea under the walnut shell and they're like, watch the pea, and they move the shells all around and you have to say where the pea ends up. With that idea, watch the hydrogen. Okay, watching the hydrogen is what's going to help us figure out uh, what's the acid base, conjugate acid, conjugate base. Now, I do want to remind you of two important things. We've got to burn this into our brains. An acid, remember, is going to donate the hydrogen and the base is going, excuse me, to accept the hydrogen. Now, there was an active verb in that. It was the word going. So when I look at something, I'm comparing both sides and I'm saying, what is going to happen to that hydrogen? So let's take a look right here. I have a nitric acid, notice that hydrogen, HNO3, and then I have water, H2O, yields, notice it's in equilibrium, with the NO3 minus the nitrate ion and the hydronium ion, H3O plus. Okay, so I'm looking at hydrogens. As I compare relative species, okay, there's my nitric acid and here's my nitrate. What's the difference between those two? This doesn't have a hydrogen. So notice how I say this. I say the nitric acid, acid is going to donate a hydrogen. It loses that hydrogen. Now look at the relative species of water and hydronium. I look at both of them and I say, okay, what's the difference between the two? Well, water has H2O, hydronium has H3O. What's the difference? Hydronium has one more hydrogen. So notice how I say this. Water is going to accept a hydrogen. It's going to get one more hydrogen. So let's put uh, brackets here. Notice I'm going to put my relative species, the um, HNO3 with the NO3. So the acid donates, is going to donate. This is the acid, okay? That's the acid. The water, let's go ahead and put brackets here with the hydronium. The water is going to accept a hydrogen. So this is the base, okay? All right, that's looking from this perspective. This is going to donate, that's going to accept. Now turn the corner and let's look in the reverse direction. So in the reverse direction, what is nitrate going to do? It's going from NO3 to HNO3. This is going to accept. It's going to accept the hydrogen as it goes in reverse. So that's going to be a base. That's a base. The hydronium, what's it going to do? It's from an H3O plus to an H2O is going to lose, is going to donate a hydrogen. So that's the acid. Now our convention to get keep these straight. I know this is a base, it's going to accept. This is an acid, it's going to donate. To keep them straight, everything on the right-hand side, the product side, we add the word conjugate. So this would be called the conjugate base. This is going to donate, that's an acid. It's on the product side, left-hand side, so we call this the conjugate acid. The conjugate acid. Now look at the brackets. The acid produced the conjugate base and the base produced the conjugate acid. That will always be true. That will always be true. The acid will always produce a conjugate base because when it goes in reverse, it accepts that uh, hydrogen back. The base always produces the conjugate acid because when it goes in reverse, it donates that hydrogen back. Okay, so let's do this again. Let's look right here. Again, we're following the hydrogen. Where's the hydrogen going? I have, like when I look at my relative species, NH4 plus, NH3, ooh, that loses a hydrogen. This is going to donate. Okay, when it donates, that's the acid. I'm gonna go ahead and write acid. Um, and I'll put my bracket to that ammonia, NH3. Just so you know how I keep these straight, ammonium has four hydrogens, ends with an M. Ammonia, ends with an A, has three hydrogens. A comes before M, ammonia, ammonium. Three comes before four. That's how I keep those two straight. Um, okay, 
water. We're going from H2O, ooh, check this out, to OH, a hydroxide ion. What happened to the hydrogen? This is going, oh, I'm so sorry. I wrote that wrong, you guys. So sorry. This is going, <laughs> this is going to accept. So sorry. Um, this is going to accept a hydrogen. Um, so let's go from the water, I'll write it here, to the hydronium. This is going to accept, so that makes this the base, makes that the base. Um, okay, so I have my reactants taken care of. Let's turn and look in the reverse. Okay, now I wanna pause. Because of what you learned up here, you could automatically go, oh, acid always produces conjugate base. Base always produces conjugate acid. Great, you could write it down. I just wanna confirm it with you so it makes sense. Let's go in reverse. NH3 to NH4, this is going to accept. That means that's a base. So I put the word conjugate in front of it. Conjugate base. And look, sure enough, the acid produced the conjugate base. Woohoo! Um, now, hydronium is going to lose a hydrogen. We're going from three to two hydrogens. Is going to donate. That's an acid. So this is our conjugate acid. And sure enough, the base produced the conjugate acid. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this last one. So I have a hydrofluoric acid with ammonia. It's going to produce ammonium ion and a fluoride ion. Again, I'm looking at those hydrogens. Okay, so if I look at the relative species of the HF going to the F, I'm going to use symbols for you. I um, will do A for acid, B for base, CB for conjugate base, and CA for conjugate acid. So if you see me do this in the next couple of videos, you'll know my shorthand. If you're writing on a test, write everything out. Don't use my shorthand. Um, it's just to save some time as we're going through the videos. Okay, HF to F. This is going to lose. It's going to donate a hydrogen. So it's going to donate. This is your acid, A. I look at, and right away, let's go ahead and do the shortcut way. I know the acid always produces the conjugate base. So that must be my conjugate base. NH3 is going to get another hydrogen, is going to accept. So this is your base. And the base always produces the conjugate acid. Okay, let's check it just to make sure that we were right. When I go in the reverse direction, the NH4 is going to donate a hydrogen. It loses a hydrogen. So that is an acid. And I put the word conjugate in front of it because it's on the product side. And then my fluoride ion right here, it is going to accept a hydrogen. Going to accept, that is a base. So I put the word conjugate in front of it because it is um, our conjugate base. Or it's on the product side. Okay, there you have it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.